Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am coming to you live from New York Comic Con 2024. It's very exciting. Friday is already off to a great start. I will continue to post coverage, news, videos, the whole nine yards throughout the entire New York Comic Con weekend. So just pop over to my socials, Instagram, YouTube. It will be a lot, but if you're looking for something in particular, it should be there eventually. Now, before we get started, I have teamed up with the fine folks over at Entertainment Earth. And this is that contest I was telling you about because, well, Entertainment Earth was nice enough. We are going to be giving away a $250 Entertainment Earth gift card. Now, here is the whole lowdown on that situation. If you want to go to my Instagram, you can enter there for a separate $250 gift card as well. If you're here on YouTube and you feel so inclined to enter, just leave me a comment down in the description below. What has been your favorite reveal from New York Comic Con thus far? That's all I want to know. If you'd like to follow me at Toyshiz, why that would be fantastic. If you'd like to check out Entertainment Earth and maybe purchase something, hey, that would be great as well. I'll put a link down in the description below. Just remember, you get 10% off and you get free shipping over $100. Otherwise, it's just an $8 flat rate shipping, and that is mint condition. So that is a nice little additive to that. I do says so as myself. So go ahead, enter here on my YouTube. Head over to Instagram. Enter there. That's 500 big ones that you could potentially win. I don't think I'll pick the same person, but you never know. You never know. It's New York Comic Con. Anything can happen. But for all of you that are here and are entering, thank you so much. But we have some new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to talk about. So we're going to take our time here. We're going to go nice and slow. There's a lot to talk about. It's actually a really nice showing, if I do say so myself. There is going to be the usual. We have Belly Bomb. We have Krang from their Archie Comics TMNT line, of which I know I love the cartoon. I know I love the Mirage. But dang it all, that Archie Comics stuff is awesome. And then you have the Domioids with the Super Turtle, and he will be coming out shortly. That'll be kind of like a, a dual pack there. Notice little things around. You got a barbell, you got a camera, you got little Domioids picking out from beneath the little placard that they got right there. They're very cute. They're very adorable. Looks pretty cool. Nice addition to the Mirage line. And I very much like what we got going on with the Super Turtle. So that will be all coming soon. Just keep in mind, these will probably be out towards the end of the year, maybe the beginning of winter, spring for 2025. So just get ready for all of that. And as we make our way down here, we're gonna have the Triceraton Gladiator. I will have a video up on these shortly, I promise you that. <laughs> There might be more than one in my video, just be prepared. But yes, the Triceraton Gladiator is already in stores. He's an oversized figure, he's about 50 bucks. And if you want to pre-order the street scene diorama for your TMNT layers and whatnot, you can do that on the NECA store as well. We also have Hunter Leonardo from the Mirage Comics line. Not to be confused with the Raphael that came in the four pack with his little sewer garb that he had going on, but Hunter Leo, Looks really cool. Then you have, of course, from uh, the Mirage comics and Renette and the whole Time Scepter, and he's a great figure. If this be your thing, Mirage gets a little weird, let's be honest. You gotta have the Rat King, though. I think that he looks awesome. I just think that that is one of the coolest Mirage figures that NECA Toys has put out. And then, this one, this one's just a funny one, I guess, to put with your TMNT collection, your Mirage comics, but it's basically Worker Donatello or Fix-It Donatello. He's got all his <laughs> wrenches and tools, so Handyman Donatello is coming to the Mirage comics line. He looks pretty darn cool. Again, just an odd offering, but very much in the vein of what NECA Toys usually does. That's always fun to see that. This one, though, very much looking forward to. As I've said, I'll probably be having a look at this one coming up fairly shortly. This is Future Raphael. For those of you unfamiliar, this is from the Puma Blues. 
It's an offshoot comic, short stories. There was one with uh, Raphael. It's just a couple pages, but he looks so darn cool. And he comes with the baby man ray. And that was all on display on San Diego Comic Con. Now you got New York Comic Con. A lot of cons this year. But hey, New York Comic Con is quite unique. It's quite different from San Diego Comic Con, but it's a lot of fun so far. Then we have Shout, which he's kind of a, I wouldn't say Triceraton. He's more of a dinosaur man, kind of like Stegron, that kind of thing from Marvel. He's in the Mirage Comics line. He looks great. That's the thing that. Negatoys really captures from the Mirage comics line, from those old illustrations. All the line work, the black really emphasizes the sculpted details. Just look at the outfit right there, the black on the blue, the red. He's got his fire stick. He's got a sword. He also comes with, and the name is escaping me right now, but the... <laughs> The hats, you're right, and then you got the, a sheathed sword as well. So you can grab all of these coming very soon. It, you know, the, oftentimes they'll give you kind of like quarter three, quarter four. It's coming soon. So I would say with the rate at which they're really kind of coming out with their turtles this year, I would say probably early next year, if anything. Then we have April O'Neil again. She is coming soon as well. She looks really cool now. I know a lot of people are going to go, ah, but let's just, let's leave the argument about what April O'Neil looks like. This is what April O'Neil looks like when you first saw her in Mirage Comics. So I think she looks cool. She looks great. They got the colors, the brown jacket. You got the blue pants. I'm actually really looking forward to this April. I think that's a great rendition. And then you have like the Baxter Stockman assistant April that NECA did some years ago. Her appearance often changed. It's okay. That's okay to happen. It, it, they were kind of figuring things out. I think this April looks pretty cool. And then this is very cool. We have the Jim Lawson Professor Obligato Utram. He's got his hat, his pipe, his brush. I like that they kind of made this Utram more in the Lawson style, just the angular look that he eventually adopted more later on when he was drawing the turtles. I think that Obligato looks pretty cool. I'm excited to get him. You have the street scene diorama, like I said, it all works well, cartoon, mirage, or otherwise. We have seen Leatherhead before. Leatherhead, to be kind of more up close, right? Just in terms of how he is on the shelf and my proximity, this figure is giant. It's like a big, massive rock of a figure. I love that he has the eye patch to him. Again, he really translates well to action figure form, and he's obviously lying in wait for the red-shirted Casey Jones. So these all look great. Again, these are figures we have seen many times before. They've been on display coming fairly, fairly soon. It, it, just, I don't know if anybody's noticed they've been collecting Ninja Turtles from NECA Toys, but they have really put out a lot this year. Variants upon variants and just everything in between, the whole nine yards. There is also the Walmart exclusive Dimension Xmas Vacation Turtles. I haven't grabbed mine just yet. I have plans to. <laughs> they look as terrifying in person as they do in all the photos, I'll tell you that. They will also be doing the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, specifically on display Michelangelo and Leonardo. You can see Ice Cream Kitty right there. I think that that's adorable. It's kind of like clunk. And that's their own little version, their rendition for Michelangelo's kitten. They have the skateboard, multiple heads, multiple weapons. I like the sculpts on these. Here's my thing, though. I love how they really captured the cartoony aspects, especially in the eyes. When Playmates first did these for the 2012s, the feet were wrong. They corrected them later. The NECA toys have those going this time around. They had very distinct animated looking feet. Leonardo himself, he'll have the whited out eyes, which that always looked good in that 2012 series. I always really liked how they did that. That was a very good series in terms of storytelling, telling you why certain things sort of transpired, maybe why do the eyes white out. It just, that was always really cool when they went ninja mode. You have plenty of accessories for Leo, multiple head portraits, and he looks good. Whether he is Jason Biggs or Seth Green, there you go. You have Leonardo and Michelangelo. 
I'll be honest with you, while I do think that these are great, I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna go after the 2012 Turtles on top of everything else, right? We have Super 7's 2003 Turtles, a lot of Turtles, but a lot of great designs for a lot of great animated series. So it's, it's a whole heck of a lot of stuff, but at least they look amazing. So these are just listed as coming soon. I believe these are in the early planning stages. You get the idea, so probably late next year, something like that. We also have better looks at some of the figures that we saw on display at San Diego Comic-Con, i.e. Tattoo for the cartoon animated line. I think he looks great. That's a Bizarro character, to go from the Playmates figure with all the stickers, and then to see how he was portrayed in the cartoon. He was some kind of weird mutated hamster, but why? And so he just turned into a sumo wrestler man, and yeah, that was bizarre. That was a, none of the cartoon really makes sense if you really think about it, but I do think that tattoo looks pretty darn good, if you ask me. It's just a goofy face. You got the big Black Widow spider on his stomach. Like, okay. Then you have Worm. Worm never appeared in the cartoon, but he was part of a commercial of sorts for the old TMNT, and that looks pretty darn solid, I have to say. So, it's kind of the original Playmates, Reborn, kind of a what-if for the cartoon line. He's got his mallet, he's got a wrench, he's got his weird belt with the claw hook on it, he's spitting out worms. That's pretty darn cool. Although I would like to see the Archie Comics version of Worm and Scumbug while we're at it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We have that new Shredder. This one should be fairly soon as well. I would imagine this is all gonna be kind of like the next batch of the cartoon TMNT. So this will be a single released figure, kind of like Ultimate, Ultimate Shredder. It comes with multiple head portraits, Chef Shredder, Unmasked Rokosaki, various cartoon specific accessories. He's got the necklace, he's got that weird helmet dome thing with the uh, crystals. I don't want to say that's Sardath, but it's, I have to go back and watch it. A lot of it's like, yeah, like reminiscent. But I love that he has a cloth cape. He's very much moron model, kind of heft up, beefed up. We also have PandaCon. PandaCon, if you remember from Playmates Toys. He looked great. He was kind of like an odd end thing where he was part of a different brand. They brought him in kind of like a Usagi Yojimbo kind of deal. And yeah, pretty much Playmates toys. Then the rights got sold and other another company was supposed to be making toys and commercials and cartoons and everything else that didn't transpire. But I like that they're bringing a what if sort of scenario for the cartoon TMNT line for PandaCon. And I think that two head portraits all the colors, he's very toyetic. That just looks fantastic. And then this one, I know like in my mind's eye what this is, especially for the Creepy Eddie. That's obviously supposed to be an homage to Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger, but we have Creepy Eddie and Shibano Sama. Shibano Sama was kind of like a genie. That's another episode where I have to go back. He kind of looks like a Scooby-Doo ghost in many ways, but I like that he can be a ghost or he can be kind of, well, technically fully fleshed out with legs and be an actual action figure. So I definitely like that. He comes with a sword. I'm excited about this one. I like the deep cuts. The weirder you get, the better with the cartoon at TMNT line. I am just enjoying it overall. For as long as they wanna go, go for it. Is it getting boring, stagnant for me? Absolutely not. When you make weird stuff like this, that's what really appeals to me. And then we have Eddie, which in many ways, when you look at this, when you look at the cartoon, he's almost a real Ghostbusters ghost in a lot of ways. He's got that really cool 80s, for lack of a better term, like monster kind of ghost aesthetic. And I very much love the way that this looks. I love his little hats. He's got the bigger eye looking out. This this one is going to be fun. Again, you can kind of cobble him, make him more into his like kind of spirits kind of look. It comes with the dynamite with the clock and the helmet piece. And yes, very much looking forward to this two pack. Hopefully, because they're kind of often fill the box, give us tons of accessories and more accessories for the turtle layer, I should say. But up here, this one is going to be very interesting, I think, to people. If you go and check out on Instagram, work more or less, you can read up on him, see his work, he does amazing photography, everything else. 
this is his creation of Leonardo, kind of a what if for the whole cartoon TMNT line, like a dark Leonardo kind of deal. And they're going to be debuting it in the new comic book for the Saturday Morning Adventures. It'll be an action figure. Bravo, sir. I think you did a great job on that. And I'm very happy for you. I think that, that is quite cool. It's kind of like a bondage Leonardo in many ways. <laughs> But I like it. I think that, that kind of comes across as interesting. Very much how a 80s sort of Leonardo, a dark Leonardo, you know, all these characters now they have dark versions. Everybody's got to have that. I've said it once. I've said it before. The Last Ronin. I know everybody loves it. Not a huge fan of the book. I have not read the sequel series just yet. But I am a fan of what NECA Toys is doing with the action figures. I think for me, that just resonates the best it's always with these and i know a lot of people say no it's the actual future of the tmnt it's still a what if we we don't want to see our characters die but we have this new set right here of the night watcher turtles from tmnt the last ronin and i think that those look pretty cool these are coming soon and i would say they're coming relatively soon probably early next year the head portraits the grayscale darkened tone with the red accents really make these pop. The videos don't do them justice to kind of see them in person. You'll definitely dig these if you're a Last Ronin fan. And then we have Grammy April and the two new Turtle Bros. Again, I have not read The Lost Years and how the new Turtles are kind of functioning. I know this is like... <laughs> we always say old man. This is old woman April, I guess you would say. Granny April. I think that, that comes across as better. You have her two little sidekicks right here. They are articulated. And so, yes, Grammy April and baby Moha and baby Yi will be quarter two of 2025. So everything keeps coming up faster and faster. I mean, it's going to be Christmas before you know it. Stores are already thinking it's Christmas. And then you have... And this is kind of cool. This is, and I, let's be honest, I know it's Last Ronin in my head when I was kind of looking at this. I thought it was Shadow, right? And then I go, oh, wait, no, of course, that is uh, not Shadow. This is Casey Marie and her motorcycle. So it's like the daughter of April and Casey Jones. If I'm not mistaken, you can, you can definitely correct me down below if I'm wrong. But she looks cool. She's got a whole cloth goods outfit going on. She's got some wild kind of spiked out anime hair, and then she's got a cool motorcycle. So again, if you're a fan of The Last Ronin, they definitely got you covered. There's so much stuff coming for The Last Ronin because it's really selling well. For me though, personally, the biggest thing on display is going to be these Archie offerings. And I just did Belly Bomb, and I was just talking about the Krang Shredder, even though it says Kang Shredder. But yes, it's from that specific arc, and Krang and Belly Bomb basically take over Shredder's body. And this is the Shredder that I know and love next to the cartoon one. It's a blue outfit. That's his colorings for the Archie Comics line. Then we have Wingnut and Screw Loose. As we keep going, you will see he's kind of tucked away in the bag. You see Screw Loose right there. Not to worry. We will get a proper look at old Screw Loose. But I love Wingnut. I am so happy they are doing the Archie Comics version of Wingnut. They got the wild eyes, the tongue, the nose. <laughs> I know. I see it. Wingnut and Screw Loose coming soon. The purples, the blues. I hope he comes with a rock throwing hand, everything else. He just looks awesome. So, yes, from Krang Shredder, which he has the alternate head portrait, so you can just have Archie Comics Shredder. Hopefully we get Verminator X and everybody else that goes with it. Maybe some Sons of Silence. Oh, man. Let's hope we get Sarnath. Ah, I, I know they're going to do it. They're, they're going to do all these crazy. You don't even have to ask. They're, they're just on top of it. So I'm going to tell you all, go out today and buy an Archie figure and support this line. <laughs> because this is the one, after the cartoon stuff now, that I desperately want to see them just keep going. Just keep going. And right before we get to Belly Bomb, let's come around the corner here. And I will show you how Screw Loose kind of fell over. He's kind of dangling there. So I'm going to ask Mr. Blainer to uh, open up the case and maybe fix him up, get him going. But he has the rock in his hand as well. If you notice Belly Bomb, Belly Bomb is the cover uh, colors. He was a little bit different on the cover of the Archie comics 
issue of which he's pretty much debuted. It was that specific arc, but he's blue. He's got the yellow pants. He's had that pinky purple shirts. He looks awesome, and he's going to come with Craig. So it's going to be just, just basically a repaint. So if that's not your thing, I totally understand. The one that we got is is the usual colors, the normal colors of Belly Bomb, but the blue is just very much the cover look. So Belly Bomb cover variant, yes, I will be grabbing that because I'm just a huge Belly Bomb fan. It's my favorite character ever made, of course, right? Every character is my favorite <laughs> I hear that a lot. Oh, they made my favorite, favorite character. No, he's just a character that looks so awesome. So glad that they made a figure for him. I'm really hoping that they're going to make this ring a reality. I think that'd be really cool. It's just a mock-up model. But to really drive home the introduction of Ace Duck, well, you got to build this ring and have him toss an old Raphael around. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Mad Hatter, watch him on YouTube, awesome dude, lovely guy, uh, he debuted this, uh, or sort of the, the, the prototype at San Diego Comic-Con, but here he is all painted up, ready to go. They really nailed his just douchey sort of like head portraits, right? Ace Duck is a vastly different character in Archie Comics. He's a wrestler in space. Yes. Hopefully they do Bloodbath. I have mentioned this already. Bloodbath needs to beat the ever-loving, you know what, out of Ace Duck. If we're getting El Mysterio... And we're getting Ace Duck. We gotta get Bloodbath. Come on, you gotta create the stump wrestling arena in general. But like I said, I've asked Blainer here to pull out Screw Loose for us. Always a nice guy. Definitely go check him out on Instagram, Blainer. He's like the best dude when it comes to NECA toys. He always knows his stuff. These figures in these glass cases, much like they always happen to do at home, you don't touch them, you don't look at them. You come into your office one day and everything has just taken a bath. So, yeah, that's that's how it goes. So from con to home glass cases, it's always the same. But I love the way Screw Loose looks. We are pretty much, well, almost done with the Mutanimals. Now we just need a regular Leatherhead and we'll be there. And they can all start burning in hell after they were horribly murdered. My God, that was something. Looking into Candy Fine's eyes and... Seeing all the Mutanimals burning in hell. I'll never, ever forget that. And so that wraps it up for the New York Comic Con offerings. But before we go, I just want to let everyone know that they've heard everyone online saying they need more movie turtles. So they will be reissuing Casey Jones. Casey Jones will now come with a motorcycle. More tattoos are on their way. Fear not. Do not pay eBay prices. More tattoos are coming. Just be patient. And they're going to reissue Leonardo and Shredder in a two-pack. So everything will be coming back out. Just as I always say, just give it time. Don't spend useless money. Just be patient. You'll get them back and yeah, hopefully your collections will be a rockin'. Stay tuned for more New York Comic Con coverage. Very much appreciate you all being here. Make sure to enter my Entertainment Earth contest. Win yourself a $250 gift card. I'll have the winners announced on Monday, right after the convention, and you'll get to a buying, hopefully. But in either case, I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.